what? That's four. Yeah. We did a number of things in here. Some stuff I had. So, but there's one that has a. It's called The Kiss of the Black Dahlia and the poems for Elizabeth Short, 1924-1947. I'll read it now. <laughs> the moon's edge becomes a scythe, paring into memory where I am now, an arrow stuck in my brain. The pier, the familiar ocean rising against the pilings encrusted with barnacles, feeding on what I cannot see. Sweating men chop at fresh fish, cutting open their stomachs, spilling blood and entrails on the steaming planks. Out of the black waters of untrespassed secrets, reeling back into decades of crippled emotion, she comes unfaded by time. Head to toe in funeral black, hands even hidden in black, a phosphorus geisha mask, cheeks white as foam, her blood-colored lips find my boy's face between the eyes. Indelibly stung for that short duration, desire as eager as electric nerves bathe in the sticky hurricane of her imagined thighs. The night was a sea of B-17s. Enemies ate the cheeks of the dead. Victory came and was gone. We'd thrown the paper streamers and cheered our misunderstood joy, for we never knew life without war. She vanished quick as she came, a snuffed flame nobody knew except the wolf who ate her innocence. The arrow's tip in my head remains a constant quintessential of desire for implausible love, drowning any semblance or substitute. Abusive as razors, her death's picture worms in the loops of my brain, forever hissing, forever think of me, a ghost slipping all, all places into every funhouse mirror, every telescoping reflection locking me to infinity. Long glued to the glass, the rotting headlines collapse in chunks of decrepit black, echoing the face of a future loss, snatched by a rusty knife in a dim room without a window. Her screams were never heard. But the soft tongue that speaks from the deepest wound, mouth breathing into mine to feed the heart's cavity, love loss, never held nor flown on joy's wings, forsaking all, I carry this void like a stone in my neck, each dawn to shrink from the sun as a vampire at its lightless box, recoiling from another's skin, no touch or warmth of life's rich heat, transparent as cellophane, forever unfurling, forever whispering, whispering I am here until death slakes these bones, and into the sea I'll churn, one with her forever haunting. <laughs> 